so cool. I know, they could test yeah. my soil there anytime they want. Because I've got some plants that are just having a really hard time mm. thriving. Mm -hmm. they're, they're the same, they haven't changed mm -hmm. at all in the last year and a half that they've been in the ground. Huh. I know, yeah. and, and somebody was saying maybe you need to amend the soil or put in some yeah. fertilizer or something. Yeah. But anyway. We need the Marsing High School experts. I, come on yeah. over guys, yeah. Eagle, come on over <laughs> anytime. I'd love to have you test my soil. Okay, folks, we have a live shot right now mm. from the depot overlooking the Treasure Valley where we had quite a bit of shower activity earlier today. It was just kind of one of those soggy days here in the Treasure Valley, but now that storm is moving out. Don't get used to what you're seeing here because even though we're going to be setting ourselves up for a beautiful sunset, I promise moisture is on the way. In fact, the next weather maker is already moving in from the west coast of California. And just take a look at the origin of where this moisture is coming from. So here we have the center of the low with the associated front and then follow the trail of moisture. This is what's feeding the system. This batch of moisture comes in from just north of the Hawaiian Islands. That's why the air has been so mild as these storms have been moving through. So this very mild flow is going to continue to usher in this moisture through the night tonight. So we'll see increasing clouds here fairly quickly after sunset. And then this core of moisture that you see out here will generate valley rain and mountain snow once again. Now the question is how much snow are we going to end up getting? We had about four inches of snow at our local ski resorts. I think we'll get about the same. And then once the system is done by the end of the day tomorrow, high pressure rebuilds and this will give us mostly partly cloudy skies, I'd say, but much drier conditions on Wednesday and Thursday. And then guess what happens on Friday? Yet another system heads this way on Friday. And then it looks like we have even more storminess with gradually cooler temperature readings with the next round of storms that come in on Sunday and Monday. So the pattern remains incredibly active, which is good because were it not for that, and if we had the typical cold air in place here in the valley, we would be in inversion. So uh, here's what's happening with the Doppler radar right now. There you can see the shower activity moving into the west coast. So if you got any plans to get out there this evening, everything looks fine. It's going to be nice and dry this evening. That's what's going to be bringing the rain during the early morning hours. And how much precipitation do we get? Look at that snow stick up there at Brundage. It's going, it's going, it's going all the way up to four inches. Really just a beautiful, beautiful sight. So I'm anticipating that we're going to be seeing about another four inches of snow at the bases of our local ski resorts. And then up, up above, let's say above 7,000 feet, we could pick up anywhere between five to as much as 10 inches of snow. The higher up you go, the greater the possibility. And the reason that we're going to be seeing such a big difference between the bases versus the top is that the air is so incredibly mild once again that the freezing level is going to be right around 5,000 feet. Okay, so here's the seven-day forecast for the valley. Rain is likely tomorrow, partly cloudy skies on Wednesday and Thursday, chance of showers again on Friday, partly cloudy on Sunday. Then it looks like we'll get colder air, so it could be a rain-snow mix on Sunday and again on Monday, which would all translate to snow in the mountains. The mountains will be seeing snow likely tomorrow and then just kind of in between with a few flurries on Wednesday, increasing clouds on Thursday, snow is expected again on Friday and snow showers again on Sunday into Monday. So that's one, two, three, four, four days out of seven in the seven day forecast for uh, the local mountains and ski resorts where we'll see snow. Pretty good odds. I like those numbers. Good. Yeah. If you're happy, we're happy. I'm happy. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thanks, Roland. Coming up.